It's clockwork empires, baby. Oh, yeah, girl. You know you love that Picardy third. Ooh. Hello, this is Dan. Um, and I'm playing Clockwork Empires. It's a newish game in early access, very, very early alpha. Um, if you watch any of my space space videos, it's not too dissimilar from that. Um, but it's also not too similar. Uh, so let's start a new game. Um, right now there's only one place you can colonize. Uh, that is the name of the game. It is a col colon colon colonialization. Uh, it's a colonization game. Uh, and let's set course for adventure. And it's not very well optimized right now. It's very weird. It's something I'd recommend for real nerds. Um, like myself. And like you. Um... And it's by Gaslamp Games. Oh, it's very quiet right now. But yeah, Gaslamp Games, they did Dungeons of Dreadmore, uh, which is one of the best games of all time, in my opinion. Um, and I think this game has a lot of promise, and it's a lot of fun. And watching the development happen is great. So, here we go. Um, the first thing I like to do is make a stockpile. Um, where am I gonna make the music? Oh, the music is so good. So good. All right, I'm gonna make a stockpile right here. Um, that's what we do first of all. And uh, let's take a look. I mean, we got no jobs. Our work crews are thus. It's another dw like dwarf fortressy game, kind of like space base. Uh, I was talking about this game in my Space Base video that I um, did recently. And honestly, I, I really don't know how to play this game. Um, but <laughs> like a lot of this type of game, it's, it's, it's really about learning. It's about the journey. Um, so I'm going to make a... F oh, that's not a good place for a farm. Um... Let's make the farm. So I'm gonna make, like, you, you need to make food, you need to do all sorts of stuff. I don't really get it just yet. Um, I don't think that worked. Farm, I need a farm. Please make farm, there. And I'm going to make farm, let me unpause for a second. Make farm a cabbage farm. So my peoples, they're gonna make some farm of a cabbage. Uh, and also, I need to cut some wood. So I just do that. I select it. What do we have here? Hematite, um, malachite, malachite. Uh, oh, this is good. I know this is good. This is a rhyolite that's good um it gives you just stone because stone is some oh there's another rhyolite that's good mind that so um there's another like kind of like community builder um you can zoom very very close in which is a bit uncomfortable uh, i think but um i think it fits with the whole idea of this game so like, you know, I can like, just pause the game and just like, like, zoom in on these guys. Very intimate. It's a very intimate setting. When you get really close, that's very loud, but wow, it really, it really like is a visceral, intimate sort of setting. I wish I could zoom out a little further, but it's alright. I'm gonna chop down this tree. The music is very happy. And you know what? Um, I think I'm going to forage 
foraging is important because you need to feed your peoples. There's all these bushes over here. I'm just gonna drag, drag over them and forage them. That's good, good stuff. Um, sphalerite. Oh, it's zinc. Let's mine that shit and chop all that down. So, um, basically, you are in this game. You play the role of um, someone who's just kind of trying to start a colony in. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a Lovecraftian world. Um, speaking of Lovecraftian, you see all this exotic caviar. That is, uh, that, that, that is, uh, something, I'm not gonna be grabbing that shit, actually, but, um, you know, it's something you can grab, and it will change, change some stuff. Uh, here's some more bushes, always good to grab the food, um, so, let's see, what are, what are our commodities? Um, looking like, okay, we got plenty of wood, and I'm gonna build a... Carpentry workshop. Let me close that. Carpentry workshop. Build it right here. That's a fine place for it. And it needs a door. Put it there. It needs a carpentry workbench. Um, put it right there. And standing. Uh, I'm not gonna put this stuff in here yet. So it's, it shows you what you need for all this stuff. And the, like, for example, a standing desk, it needs a plank. And to make a plank, you need a carpentry workbench and a log. So it's all about like resources. Um, start the simulation back up. There is only one speed. Unlike space base, there's only one speed at which a simulation takes place, which is interesting. Um, it it um, definitely changes changes the game a little bit. I don't know. It's all right. I don't mind it. What are these? It's a coal coal node. Um, not bad. Um, this is the military thing. You can have them, like, move around where you need them, or you can have them explore. So I'm just having them, like, look over here. Here they come. Alright, um, so get out of that. Come on. Okay, I can't seem to not place nodes anymore. Weird. <laughs> I'm trying to stop place nodes. Okay, how about an explore node? How about that? Does that work for you? Uh, I want to turn off those those nodes. Yeah, this game is pretty buggy still. Um, so, I'm gonna place another stock, actually, you know what, I'm gonna place another farm. Um, that, that actually worked. For pumpkins. And now I think I'll be able to remove these rally points. Alright, cool. So yeah, more, more alphas, ooh, rhyolite, nice. I like that. And I can remove this as well. So let's take a look at our jobs. Um, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, five work crews and two of them don't have a job. One of them doesn't have a job. So we can actually Maybe build a kitchen. What the hell? There's a door just sitting there. Oh, that I know. What, that what the hell is going on, actually? Oh my gosh. That's weird. 
Um, yeah, I think that's a glitch. I think that's glitched. All right, so I'm gonna try to build another carpentry workshop. This time, hopefully it doesn't glitch out. Um, it's probably because I built it right next to the, um, Probably because I built it right, right up next to the uh, the zone for storage. I forget what it's called. Stockpile. Um, let's do that and that, and then also that. Why not? Um, let's cut down these trees. And also forage what's ever among them. And then forage over here as well. So eventually we will get attacked by um, enemies. So the way they build these things, they just kind of like set the items down onto them. And then as soon as enough of them get set down, there's enough of them. I'm still getting freaked out by <laughs> this door. This phantom workshop. Man. Oh, another rhyolite boulder. That's good. Getting stone was like an issue for me in my last playthrough. So I'm happy to be able to get all this stone. Because it'll help my, my kitchen be more effective and I can cook more food. Which is a very, very important thing. This is also just running at 15, 15 frames a second, which is, I guess, worth noting. Um, okay, let's build. Let's build a kitchen. Oops. That was not a kitchen. The kitchen is right here. All right. Uh oh, yep, there are new, there are enemies, and it looks like they're mostly dead, which is hilarious. It's great. It's great stuff. Cancel. All right, let's let's get back to building our kitchen. Doesn't matter. Monsters. Who the fuck cares? There's always monsters. Always sometimes monsters. Isn't that a game that's out right now? So this is something that I'm not entirely enthused on. Just the way that, that you have to drag out the um, building areas. It is a little bit awkward. A work, we need a workbench and a stove. So we'll ha hopefully we'll have enough stone to build that stove and we'll start cooking stuff. Our commodities, let's take a look. Um, food, food, food. We got, we got plenty of food. We got a ton of lingonberries. Um, those are the only two. Lingonberries and mushrooms, that's all we got. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let, uh, the foragers start hunting as well, I think. So, I'm going to enable hunting jobs for them. This is all stuff that... So, <laughs> they're going to start shooting these these uh, dodo birds and these... Uh, what are they called? I don't know. Some kind of steers or something. Um, so that there'll be more food. There's a lot of things can go wrong. A lot of things can go wrong. Um, let's... Forage all this. Let's take a look at our jobs. Alright, that looks alright. The workbench and the, the small oven are unassigned right now. That's fine. Um, because, uh... Oh! I almost forgot. We need to start ordering planks. I'm gonna order 15. Because then we can start... Uh, I'm building things like paintings and beds, 
We need to build beds. All right, that's built. Uh, looks like we got some new peoples. I need three, yes. This music right here sounds a lot like a lot of the music from Dungeons of Dreadmore, which I really, really am into. Very cool. I like it. Okay, um, I gotta build a house for to sleep, people to sleep in. Let's just build it all the way out to here. Big long house. Alright, the door can be over here, and we can also put a door over here. And we need beds. A bed. And a bed. It's kind of annoying you have to go keep going back to the menu and then it's a little laggy. But of course, hopefully they will get some of this um, sorted out as the game um, develops further. It's a very small studio working on this, and um, I have to say that um, one of the, the kind, like, just like really cool um, groups of developers out there that I know of, and Dungeons of Dreadmore was probably, well, it was like my first introduction to um, to roguelike games, which I'm a huge fan of now, and um, I, a Gas Lamp as a company gets a lot of credit. I'm a bit of a fanboy, but I mean that I don't think that really colors my take on this game. It definitely needs um, development. <laughs> And that's what they're doing, and it's it's still fun. Like it's fun to just figure out. Like the same with St Space Base. If you watch my last Space Base video, it's a game by Double Fine, which is a kind. You know, it's a bigger it's a bigger developer, um, but also very they're very cool and care a lot about fun. Um, and you know, not just like you know. Call of Duty style, uh, violence, whatever. Um, oh, I think I need another stockpile. And I don't, you know, I don't want to make, make it seem like Call of Duty is a bad game or anything like that. It's a great game. Um, and I like all sorts of games, but, um, I really like more creative games. Make a big old stockpile up there. Did that, did that work? But, um, you know, we, we get to see, like, oh shit, this guy is fucking our shit up. I think someone's shooting at him, though. Yeah. Come on, take him out. It's just a fun, it's fun, it's still fun. Oh my god! So okay. All right, he's dead. The fish person's dead. <laughs> he like took out some of our crops. He like ate, he like destroyed some of our cabbages. Weird. Um, what do we have here? Nothing. Supply drop. Um. Don't prestige. Um, what's my food like? Oh, okay, let me, let me pause. Um, alright, we, do we have, oh, we have a so yes, yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Um, commodities. We have raw auroch steak, and we have lingonberries. Um... Well, let's, let's, let's take food, uh, and see what happens. Okay, cool. 
What do we get? We got bushel of sausages. And we got whiskey. <laughs> okay. And we got some some dodo. Raw dodo. Okay. So I'd like to cook some dodo. I'd like to cook some Arak steak. I think that's this one. And can I make lingonberry preserves? I'm gonna try. All right. Okay. So, um, I'm going actually going to uh, turn off hunting. Yeah, turn off, disable the hunting jobs for you guys. Cause they probably killed everything. I probably left it on too long. We still have one Arak, it seems. And we got a few, we got a dodo over here. So yeah, if, if you leave hunting on, um, it seems like they will overhunt um, until people are gone, basically. So I'm just gonna let it sit here for a little bit and um, just kind of uh, do some looking around. What do we got here? Is this clay? nurture the saplings in this area but I'm also going to chop down all the trees and forage sounds like someone's sad all right so the living quarters is done um, I think that I can renovate and put some some pictures up just lower class pictures Whoop, whoop, come on. Uh, no, I'm just gonna cancel that. I have had some crashes uh, doing the renovation. So someone's running for something. Who is this? What the hell? Uh, Gigian Slenderman. Gigian or Gigian Slenderman came to the colony seeking to build a new life on the frontier. He worships at the altar of celestial order. He has pledged allegiance to the queen. He was born in the 27th year of the reign of the queen. Gigian Slenderman is a sturdy subject and has one of those faces you just keep seeing everywhere. Oh shit, um, we got some fishmen. All right, um, let's get our let's get our boys over here to fend to the front. They're taking out our pumpkins for fuck's sake. Come on. Can't let him take our pumpkins. All right, he got him. Okay, well, one of the features they just recently added, as we're being attacked by more fishmen, um, one of the features they recently added. Oh, this is the experimental build, by the way. Uh, this is 30C. Um, I'm recording this on. Uh, okay, so I just crashed fraps by trying to do something clever but anyway um i'm recording this on the 5th of september um and um i'm looking at the experimental build but one of the things they recently added um i believe in version 30b i'm playing 30c right now was save games so I'm going to go ahead and save. They didn't have save games before. Uh, so, save. Hooray. Saving. So yeah, you, you could only play this game in short bursts and only get to a certain point. Um, but I believe it's very easy to die in it. So am, am I saving? I think I am. Ugh. 
Okay, I think I'm saved. And I think I'm going to call it for this episode. Let me know if you want to see more of this. Uh, I'm definitely into it. So, thanks very much for watching. And I hope to talk to you soon again.